Hello everyone, welcome to all who are watching these videos. In this video, I am explaining the integration MZ problems. Okay, already I explained up to 39 problems in the previous videos. Now I start the bit number 40. Okay, integral 1 by 2 sin x plus 3 cos x whole square into dx. Integral 1 by 2 sin x plus 3 cos x whole square into dx. Okay, listen. When we have the term sin square x and cos square x at the denominator, then the processor is just to dividing the numerator and denominator by the value cos square x. Already I explained about this point in the previous videos also. Okay, this is sin x plus cos x whole square means here we have that sin square x and cos square x. That is dividing the numerator and denominator by the value cos square x. Okay, listen. Integral 1 by cos square x by 2 sin x plus 3 cos x whole square by cos square x into dx. Now this is equals to integral integral secant square x dx by 1 by cos square secant square x by just taking the this total value in the single square that is this becomes 2 sin x plus 3 cos x by cos x whole square ok writing the total value in the single square whole square whole square writing the single square now separate the denominator 2 into sin x plus cos x that is 2 tan x plus 3 into cos x by cos x that is 3 whole square ok writing the single square and separating the denominator and this is equal to 1 by 2 tan x plus 3 what is the derivative of this part 2 tan x derivative to 2 secant square x and 3 derivative to 0 ok that is to form the derivative I am applying the number 2 here 2 tan x derivative to 2 secant square x 3 derivative to 0 to form the derivative I am taking 1 by 2 and 2 here and this is what is the denominator value 2 tan x plus 3 whole square now I take that value is equal to 2 tan x plus 3 power minus 2 into what is the remaining value 2 secant square x into dx now what is this form clearly this is in the form of f of x whole power n into f dash of x now what is the integration f of x whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1 that is 2 tan x plus 3 power minus 1 by minus 1 plus c ok this is f of x this is f dash of x so answer is equal to minus 1 by 2 into 2 tan x plus 3 plus c that's all and this is the third option very easy when we have the term sin square x and cos square x at the denominator then the processor is just to simply dividing the total numerator and denominator by the value cos square x then automatically it becomes a formula and applying that formula ok Okay, listen, the next question, sum number 41, integral 1 by sin x into square root of sin x into cos x. So, first, I take that here by sin x into sin square x, okay, to the given quotient, just I apply the value by sin x into sin x, then it becomes sin square x into cos x by sin x. Now, this is equals to integral 1 by root sin square x is equal to sin x root sin square x is equal to sin x and this sin x into sin x is equal to sin square x sin square x into what is the remaining value square root of cos x by sin x cos x by sin x is equal to cortex into dx and what is 1 by sin square x cosecant square x so it becomes cosecant square x by root cortex into dx okay see here what is the derivative of the cortex minus cosecant square x so applying the minus here now clearly this is in the form of f dash of x by root f of x what is f dash of x by root f of x formula 2 root f of x plus c so answer is equal to minus already here we have minus minus 2 root what is f of x cortex cortex plus c that's all that is the third option very easy first to the given question we apply pi sin into sin in the square root value and we take the root sin square is equal to sin x and this sin x into this sin x is equal to sin square x and remaining values only square root of cos by sin is equal to cortex and 1 by sin square is cosecant square and applying the formula that's all the next question sum number 42 integral f of x into g dash of x minus f dash of x into g of x by f of x into g of x into log of g of x minus f of x into dx ok now i take that this is equals to first i write this value ok first i take this value now see here what is this form log a minus log b what is log a minus log b log of a by b that is log of g of x by f of x into 
Now what is the remaining value? I'm taking this value here. F of x into g dash of x minus f dash of x into g of x pi. Now I am taking this value as equals to f of x whole square into f of x by g of x into d. Okay. f of x whole square into f of x by g of x into d. If we cancel the f of x whole square here then what we get f of x into g of x this f of x into g of x. Now see here what is the derivative of this part. Just I take this total value is equals to f. Okay. Capital F of x. Then what is its derivative? Log f of x derivative 1 by f of x. Log f of x derivative 1 by f of x. That is 1 by g of x into f of x. Capital F dash of x. Just doing the derivative into. Again what is this value derivative? You have to apply the u by v rule. That is v into u dash. f of x into g dash of x minus u into v dash. g of x into f dash of x by v square that is f of x whole square now see here what is this value this total value is nothing but this value 1 by g of x by f of x that is f of x by g of x these two values are same here that is clearly this is in the form of f of x whole power n into f dash of x what is n value n is equal to power value so what is the answer f of x whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1 what is f of x value log of g of x by f of x power n plus 1 n is equal to 1 1 plus 1 2 by 2 plus c that's all okay just first writing this value applying that log a minus log b is equal to log of a by b and writing this value and converting this value as f of x whole square into f of x by g of x and taking this total value is equal to f of x and doing the derivative then we get this value okay now clearly this is in the form of f of x whole power n into f dash of x what is n value here n is equals to 1 now applying the formula then we get the answer is equal to log of g of x by f of x whole square by 2 plus c and this is the second option that's all next problem sum number 43 integral sin 2x by a square cos square x plus b square sin square x into dx is equal to k into log of a square cos square x plus b square sin square x plus c then what is k value we have to find this value okay for that first i take that the denominator value is equal to f that is f is equal to a square cos square x plus b square sin square x now do it the derivative f dash of x is equal to what is the derivative a square into cos square x derivative 2 cos x into again cos x derivative minus sin x plus b square into sin square x derivative 2 sin x again sin x derivative cos x now what is common here what is common in these two 2 sin x cos x so taking that value common here then we get 2 sin x cos x into what is the remaining value minus a square plus b square that is b square minus a square okay here remaining value is minus a square here remaining is b square b square minus a square but what is 2 sin x cos x this is equal to sin 2x sin 2x into b square minus a square now i write the given question here you see here what is the derivative value sin 2x into b square minus a square already here we have sin 2x so I apply the value b square minus a square to the given quotient like that. Okay. I apply the value 1 by b square minus a square into b square minus a square. Now clearly this is in the form of f dash of x by f of x. So what is f dash of x by f of x answer? Log of f of x. That is log of a square cos square x plus b square sin square x plus c. Now comparing this value with the given answer. What is the given answer? K into log of a square cos square x plus b square sin square x. What we get here? 1 by b square minus a square into this answer. That is the value of k is equal to 1 by b square minus a square. And that is the first option. Just simply finding the derivative and comparing this answer with the given answer and taking the k value. Therefore k is equal to 1 by b square minus a square and that is the first option. That's all.